Hi everyone, welcome to this video. You found this video because you're probably wanting to progress your accessories on your Dark Knight. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get out your Dark Knight with accessories worth over 423 million silver, all for free. Before we continue, I'd like to invite you to hit that subscribe button. And if you think that you'd like items for your Dark Knight worth over 423 million silver for free, then hit that like button because I'm going to show you how. Welcome to this guide. This is an accessory guide for Black Desert Online for the Xbox One. So to begin with, let's take a look at some of the items that are available on the marketplace. These are the most expensive items that money can buy right now. The Ogre Ring is a necklace that will set you back 194 million silver. This necklace gives you a flat AP of 10 and an accuracy of 4. Next we've got the Basilisk Belt which will cost you a cool 68 million silver. This belt gives you 5 flat AP and 2 accuracy, with an item effect of an additional 80 carrying weight. Moving on to the earrings, we're looking at two witches earrings which will set you back with a tidy sum of 17.5 million each, or as a pair, 35 million silver. These earrings will give you 5 flat AP and 2 accuracy each. Finally onto the rings, we've got the Ring of Crescent Guardian. These trinkets will cost you a modest 63 million each, coming in at 126 million for the pair. Each ring will give you five flat AP and two accuracy. So if we were to purchase all these items, we'd be looking at the following total stats. A flat AP of 35, 14 accuracy, and a carrying weight increase of 80, all for a mere 423 million silver. That's pocket change, right? So Chris, I hear you asking, where are we getting these free accessories? Don't you worry, I'm coming on to that. The way we achieve this is with some different items, and I'll tell you what and how in a minute. I want to break down the stats of these mysterious items first so we can do a comparison. So let's start with the necklace. The necklace has a flat AP of 11 and provides damage reduction of plus 3. The belt gives us flat AP of 6 with a carrying weight increase of 100. The earrings give us a flat AP of 7 each and increase your max HP by 25 each. Finally, the rings give us a flat AP of 7 each, 2 DP each, and additional damage reduction of 2. These items are a set and come with a 3 and 5 item set bonus. Having 3 items gives you an additional 300 max HP, and the full 5 item set gives you 20 accuracy. By having all 5 pieces of this set, your total stats would be a flat AP of 45, DP of 7, accuracy of 20, additional max HP of 350, increased carry weight limit of 100, and damage reduction of 7. So that gives a difference of 10 AP, 7 DP, 6 accuracy, 350 max HP, a carry weight limit of 20, damage reduction of 7, and most importantly, a difference of 423 million silver. So what is this mysterious set and how do I get it? This set is called the Asula set. The Asula set is an enhanceable set of family bound items that cannot be bought or sold on the marketplace. These items must be looted. Before you say screw this and close this video, just bear with me because collecting this set is easier than you'd first think because there is a little trick that isn't very well known. So the Asula set can be found at three different locations. The necklace can be found at the abandoned iron mine. The rings and earrings can be found at Helm's Post and the belt can be found at Elric Shrine. While grinding any of these three locations, you'll come across two types of Asula items. You'll find Asula's Crimson Eye items, which are equipable, and you'll also find Asula's Weakened Magic items. This is not an accessory, this is a component part which you'll use to upgrade your Asula gear. Keep anything Asula related. For example, you may find multiple necklaces and be tempted to sell them to a vendor because you can't sell them on the marketplace and they sell for 150,000 silver to a vendor. Don't do this, hang on to them all and I'll explain what you need to do with them in a moment. An ideal scenario would be that you visit all three locations and you've got exactly the accessory you're looking for, but the reality is that this will almost never happen. You're sure to spend more time grinding for XP or silver at one place over another and will end up with a myriad of Asula items, both Weakened and Crimson Eye. As a perfect example, I found grinding at Abandoned Iron Mine was much easier for me than Helm's Post because the optimal AP was 70 to 90, 
while at Helm's Post it was 90 to 110, and Elric Shrine it was even higher, an optimal AP of 95 to 150. The result of this was I collected more necklaces than I had necks on which to put them. So here is the first part of the trick. If you visit Altinova and go visit Jeweler Belgar, you can actually exchange three of the weakened magic items for one Crimson Eye of the same type. For example, if you had three Asula's weakened magic earring, you can swap them for one Asula's Crimson Eye earring. What you can't do is mix and match weakened items to get one item, but what you can do is swap your weakened items for a weakened version of the item that you're looking for. This way you can obtain three matching weakened items and then you can exchange these for the item that you desire. The final part of the trick lies within the extra Crimson Eye items. With these items, you can actually exchange these items for weakened versions of the same item. Each Crimson Eye item can be swapped for two weakened versions of the same item, which in turn can then be exchanged for whichever accessory you're missing. So to give an example, if you had an extra three Crimson Eye necklaces, you'd be able to exchange these for a total of six weakened magic necklaces and then turn the six weakened magic necklaces into six weakened magic rings and then in turn into two Crimson Eye rings. You can then use any additional weakened magic items to attempt to enhance your accessories further. To take them to Pry, there is a 70% chance of success. So with a little effort and a bit of luck, you'll be able to save yourself for other items like a Zaka, which starts at 259 million silver. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something new. Before the video ends and moves on to the next one, why not hit that subscribe button before it's too late? I really appreciate every single subscriber, every single like and every single comment. You guys are awesome and I love chatting to you. So please feel free to ask any questions in the comments or just to even say hello. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.